um, I was just in H&M and Zara and I got a few things from Zara, very few, that I wanted to show y'all. I didn't get anything from Zara despite me seeing multiple things that I liked, especially those beautiful, beautiful printed silk scarves. However, comma, they really pissed me off in that little store. Like, their made up policies about like dressing room closures, like the timing doesn't even make sense. And I've never worked fashion retail. Like I've never worked fashion retail. But I completely understand the need to want to get out of there, babe. I know those girlies don't want to be, you know, doing take backs and all that crap well after they're off. Like I'm sure it's very exhausting. However, if you have a case where your dressing rooms are closing one hour and like 15 minutes prior to closing, then maybe you should just close the store at that time and then pay those people to then do the take back so that when the customer is in the store shopping, they can have the full experience that they wanted to have. Otherwise, why would they be in store when they can just shop online if they can't even try shit on because you're closing the dressing rooms hella early. It makes sense to close a dressing room 30 minutes prior to closing. It even makes sense to close a dressing room one hour prior to closing. But that extra 15 minutes on top of that hour, it really pissed me off. So, Zara, babe, mm, I may, I want those scarves. And I may go to the other location because Miss Girl really upset me in that little store today. And, anywho. Let's get into the things that I got from H&M, who does not close their dressing rooms at stupid times prior to closing. So you saw me try on some things in the dressing room. Honestly, they didn't really have anything that, you know, made my dookie twinkle. Like, they're very much in a transitional phase. You can see from the clips that I showed, there was a lot of knitwear, a lot of sweaters. There was a lot of workwear, babe. They're saying the girls are back in the office and we're going to accommodate them. There was a lot of work where I don't relate to that. <laughs> I don't relate to that at all. So I didn't see too much that excited me. So I literally got two garments and whatever. I got this top. It. This is a size. This is an XL. You saw me try this top on. Of course, I had the wrong bra on for a top like this. Quiet is kept. There is no bra for a top like this. It's just perky titties and vibes, I suppose. The straps are adjustable. If I find it online, I will link it below. It was only $10 and it's really cute. I like this color. It's ribbed, it's stretchy. It has this interesting, like, um, Printed detail. I don't know. What what are we calling this? What are we calling this, girls? I don't know. But I like it. It's very similar to the dresses. The black one and the orange one. But those didn't quite give me a tingle. So I left them where they were. But if I see those online, I will link them as well. Because I think they were only $15. And I tried on for those um, size 2X. And this is a 1X. So this her. I also got this little cream peasant-esque top. This is a size 2X. She's very thin. I had on the wrong bra for her because she requires like a, not really a t-shirt bra, but more like a pre-cup bra versus the lace bra that I'm wearing today. This was $4, which is very pleasing to me. And it is, like I said, a 2X. If I find it, I will link it. I like this. And then y'all saw me go up. And then y'all saw me go up to H&M Home. I was very much in love with the colored glassware. I love colored glassware. There's a lot in my bookcase. 
I have a lot over here on my little edges here, my little shelf. But I didn't allow myself to get those pieces because I just have too much. I have too much right now. And if I keep thinking about that beautiful like lavender lilac color vase, then I'll go back and get it. I think it was like $35. But I think I'm gonna sit it out because I have too much. Anyway, I did get some beautiful candlesticks because I'm a candle girl. I really love candlesticks. I, you know, I actually buy candles and burn them. I love the moody vibe that it gives. These are unscented, but I really liked these colors and they were only $3, which is very good. So that is everything I got from H&M and maybe in a couple days I'll go to the other Zara and see what she has to give because I really want those scarves despite them pissing me off today. Anywho, I'm going to go eat. I'm going to have myself a smoothie and a salad. I also have to wash my hair. I'm like hell my hair right now. I got this and this is the Slicked Flexible Styling Glue by Aunt Jackie's and wow, 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 it's it's impressive, it's really impressive. I did this, well, okay, I did this on Sunday and then Monday I went swimming. The shorter parts of my hair that don't fit into the ponytail they curled back up i should have washed my hair after swimming but i'm about to wash it tonight which is tonight is tonight is thursday so i'm about to wash my hair but this is really impressive girls this is it stays it's it's very nice so i'm definitely i'm going to attempt some knotless braids prayers up i'm definitely going to be using this to lay down my little edges because I sweat pretty profusely and this for the most part has been pretty resistant to my hyperhidrosis so we're gonna see anyway y'all I'll check in maybe when I'm doing my hair tomorrow because I'm very hungry right now and I'm still very much irritated about the girl from Zara so is trash and I probably have spinach in my teeth because I just ate a smoothie but I'm trying my very very best to get out of the house and I wanted to do a little get ready with me even though I should have left five minutes ago but as we've all learned by now this is my brand um, I'm gonna wear this skirt that I got from Shein I did a Shein like baby haul maybe a couple weeks ago and if you haven't seen it already I will put it above and then I got this little top from H&M which you saw earlier on in this vlog and but the thing is it has this little opening girl and I can't go braless so and this also you can't do strapless really because this hole you will see the the black of the strapless bra so I have this little Fenty bra that's really not designed for outside wear it's more so just lingerie because it's a little delicate so we're gonna see you will see the bra straps but I figured because it was like pretty and orange it'll look like a little baby color blocking moment a little pop a little detail a little pizzazz versus just a big Twitter bra strap showing so let's see Okay, so here we have it. It's not the worst, but it's not the best. But like I said, I think this could lead to like a little color blocking element. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's better with the lighting. So you see the straps, but I do like these colors together. And as you can see, this bra 
it's it's really not for wearing but my titties look good so we're just gonna go with it but i'm wearing Prada candy and dirty mango by heretic this girl she's not here for a long time but she's really pretty for the summer i also am wearing cork lip liner with this hot chocolate fenty lip gloss because i've had it for a while and i've been seeing the girls speak about her on tiktok and such and i kind of forgot i had it because i don't really reach for it so it's cute the bra babe it's giving pop of color and we're gonna go with that don't look at my nails have some respect shoes i don't know i could play into the orange straps with these little lace-up kitten heels i have not worn these yet this summer and summer is about to clock out or i don't know i'm going to like a garden so maybe that's not the wisest decision i may just wear my new like nine west that anyway i need to scram because i'm gonna be late babe Sunday today is Sunday and I don't remember when was the last time I actually spoke to the camera and this is why I say I'm not great at vlogging because I know I've been recording stuff while I've been out but I don't, I'm pretty sure at this point, like I should have already had a, another vlog and then this should be another vlog. Like I have enough for like two vlogs, but I don't, I don't know. I have to like go through and like look at my footage and I'm not, I know a lot of girlies who vlog, they like edit as they go. They're like, they'll have their footage. And then at the end of the day, they'll upload it all and, you know, begin editing. I'm just not that girl yet. Maybe that's what I need to start doing for the sake of organization. But, anywho, it's 6 o'clock. I have been cleaning, like deep cleaning, all day. And I wanted to go to Target today to see the Kalana... Barfield Brown, I think that's her name, Kalana Barfield Brown collection. And I wanted to go earlier around three, but I'm one of those people that if I'm cleaning or I'm doing any kind of tedious task, babe, I gotta keep going because if I stop, it's not gonna get done. So I had to finish up all my cleaning. So now I'm going to 
head out to Target. It's also been raining all day, so I was trying to wait out the rain. My nails are terrible, but I wanted to wait until I was finished with my deep cleaning, and then I have to also repot some of my plants before I put on a new set, but I look like, uh, I don't wanna talk about it. Um, so yes, I'm about to go check these clothes out. And I think um, depending on how much goodness I find within the collection, now I've seen a lot of things. When, when she, first previewed it a couple months ago and then when this recent preview came out due to like fashion week everything was oversized like she her aesthetic is very much rooted in a very oversized fit I'm not an oversized girl I'm not an oversized girl I just don't think it looks good on me I am a believer and what's flattering for me. I do understand that the term flattering is used as like a construct when it comes to dressing and outward expression, but I know what makes me look good and I know what makes me look bad. And one of the things that, you know, I'm just not a lover of on me is oversized fitted things, so. I'm about to go try these garments on, see what it's giving. But like I said, if there is a lot of good shit, it's gonna be a completely separate video. If I saw like three things, then I'll just put it in this vlog. I kind of look like a potato. I'm looking at myself, this turtleneck, this shirt is from Zara. Today, like I said, it's been raining. It's probably right now about 60, Four degrees I'm very irritated because maybe summer we got 11 more days I just posted a bikini picture on Instagram we got 11 more days like what's going on yesterday was such a beautiful day I went to the beach and it was like 85 degrees I didn't really get any color much to my dismay because it was I went too late in the day but anyway child, I'm rambling I'm going out right now to see what this collection is giving. I'm not giving anything because I'm not inspired by Fall and her imminent arrival. The Pumpkin Spice Warriors are really getting on my nerves. If that is you, girl, what's going on? So I'm giving this. This is Zara, a top. I'm wearing camel pants and shoes i may just put on my little um i don't know it doesn't matter because this ain't a look this is just how to go outside without looking a plump fool anyway i will see you beautiful beautiful people at target Mercury is aggressively retrograding right now. Like, I'm exhausted. And it almost stopped me from doing a little recording today. But, you know, we prevail, we move. So I just washed my face. I'm about to do just a little bit of regular, regular skincare. I started to do an enzyme mask. However, comma, I'm going out tonight and I'm gonna put on a little 
mega so I don't want to do that I'll just do the enzyme treatment anywho we are starting with some mild exfoliation this toner by Burst clearly I really enjoy it because it's almost empty I usually use the Shiseido cotton pad but I ran out and then I was going through my things like I have a whole skincare arsenal of like things that I've received um and I found these little cotton pads within this Dr. Jart set that I really like because well you can't see it but they're kind of textured on one end and it's soft on the other side. So I like to use the little textured side. And I don't even know if they still sell this kit. Well, I'm pretty sure since I had it, they reformulated it. But it's their micro peel kit and these are like the little cotton pads. Unfortunately, they don't sell these. I don't think, I'll check. But I don't think they sell these separately but it comes with a little um like peeling solution however I had this stuff for so long like so many years that I threw the peeling solution away because it was way past expired and I kept the cut pads baby and they're fabulous like I wish they sold them on their own because paired with this and then the texture on here is just like a little very mild double exfoliation and double exfoliation might as well be my middle name so I'm just taking this little solution and using it everywhere and then so I don't know if I mentioned this before but I'm getting back into like my k-beauty products and I was looking around for new products because, you know, I wanted to try new shit. The stuff that I used to use. Mm. Anyway, I wanted to get like a rice essence toner type thing because rice bran is very brightening for the skin. It's great for subtle evening of the skin tone. It's not as aggressive as like a Arbutin or even like an exfoliant like a um, malic or mandelic acid. But she's cute. Girl, I ordered this from Amazon. Why? Why I didn't know this was going to be the size? Why would these people play in my face in this manner? Anywho, I like it. <laughs> So I just, I apply like two layers. Back in the day when I was an Essex girl, I would apply seven layers. But shit, you use seven layers of this, the whole bottle's gone. So now, and it's very nice. It's very, I don't want to say soothing because my skin is not reactive or sensitized in any way. But it's very nice. It it feels nice. My skin immediately after using it feels very taut and supple and hydrated. I like to use the metaphor like a green grape because those green grapes be hella firm and hella juicy. They don't taste the best to me. But I like my skin to feel like them. And then this is I want to say one of like the all stars of like K-Beauty. This is the um, CauseRx Snail Mucin Essence. So essentially I am using two essences, but hydration is key. And the thing about hydrating your skin is the limit kind of just doesn't exist. Like once your skin is full, it nothing else goes in. So you notice the products are just kind of sitting on top of the face. And immediately I look super dewy, which is my preference. Super supple, well hydrated, just fabulous, honestly, just fabulous. So I really enjoy these two products. I am going to order the bigger size of this one once it's gone by next week. But this has lasted me 
but maybe three weeks. So I would say this little one ounce baby gives you like a month, like a little trial period of a month, which is good because when trying new products, you wanna give them like four to really eight weeks, like four to eight weeks, really six to eight weeks, but let's just say four to eight weeks because it takes the skin four weeks to turn over, like on average. So I'm just gonna spot treat a few dark spot areas using my Apon Wee spot treatment. It's the Ecclesier. I'll show you in a second. But I will link everything that I'm using below. And this is honestly, to this day, it's one of the best spot treatments that I have ever tried outside of like a hydroquinone. Hydroquinone, we know is bleach. I haven't checked because I'm not really embedded in skincare like that anymore, but I think that the FDA has changed the rules on hydroquinone because I remember back in the day, the limit for over-the-counter hydroquinone was 2%. So you would see it in products like AMB and even Murad had a product that I actually really liked that I would use as a spot treatment on my more aggressive dark spots. Like if I burn my forehead with some curlers or something like that. But Murad reformulated and I haven't been seeing any hydroquinone products lately. So I'm going to check on that. But anyway, this is a pun And then I'm just going to, you know, sit for a bit and let that soak in. This is my moisturizer for the day. It's really light because there's already so much hydration on my face. I'm not going to use like a cream cream with any rich emollients. This will suffice, especially because since I said I'm wearing a little makeup tonight. So this is nice. It's light. It's hydrating. Does it work for the colder, drier months? No. But it's technically still summer. We got just over a week left. And it works for now, especially with other very, very hydrating so that's just my easy peasy hydrating skin regimen. My skincare changes every single day just because I have so much. But I just wanted to share that with you guys. I'm about to start getting ready. I'm supposed to be going out to dinner. I have a five o'clock reservation and it is 2.26. And something in my stomach tells me, and I'm gonna get flaked on. I'm gonna have attitude, but it's fine. I'm also going to a little birthday get together this evening. So regardless of if I go to the dinner or not, I'm still gonna be getting ready. I need to do my nails. I need to shoot a video that is due to go up tomorrow. And I also wanna repot some plants because Baby, when do I make sense? I decide to do things when I have somewhere to be because clearly time is just not a factor. Time is just not that girl when it comes to me. So I just be wild when it comes to everything. I'm applying a little grande lash. I saw it and grabbed it, babe. I have not been consistent with this, but when I'm consistent, my lashes touch my glasses. Unfortunately, it's one of those products because it is technically like medicated. You have to keep using it. But that's her. And I will link it below along with everything else. So yeah, girls, let's get into it. I may, we just did a little skin talk. Let's do a little nail talk as well. Ah, I'm fighting for my life, sisters. But the the way as soon as Mercury say girl and my electronics start acting crazy, like first of all, how dare Apple 
decide that they want to release iOS 16, is it? And like new products or a new phone, the 14s, during a fucking retrograde. Like, girl, what? Like, why would you do that? Why would you do that? Why would you do that? So now I'm sitting here looking stupid. Anywho, child, I'm picking out my nail sizes. I should mark on the container what the sizes are so that I don't have to like dry fit every time I'm doing this. But, you know, over here, we don't really like to do things that make a lot of sense. I'm really like very clearly having one of those days and hmm, I want freedom. I'm just so annoyed like from the moment I open my eyes. Violence. I kind of hate doing my own nails but I kind of like it. And I started because, like, I don't know if y'all have ever noticed in any videos, but my nails are pretty raggedy. And that's not because of me and my inexperienced girls. They've actually improved significantly because I used to, I'm about to etch the insides. And I also got this little cheap drill. Okay, backstory. So I was going to this salon here in Chicago and I liked it. I didn't like certain aspects of it, but I liked it enough to keep going. And I found my nail tech, enjoyed her greatly, and I went to her maybe four or five times. Mind you, I was getting the Apray, the Gel X, which is similar to what I do now, except for it's like the bootleg version. And I was getting my nails done like every three weeks, let's just say three weeks. So I had gone to her maybe four or five times. So it had been a, a good chunk of time that I was going to her. But on this one particular time, I don't know what my sister did, but within like two days of getting my nails done, they were all lifting. And because you know I wear my nails really long, because of the lifting, my natural nails, especially if the lifting would happen like violently, like if I would hit something and it just lifted. And it wasn't, it wasn't like, oh, I messed up and I, I was a little aggressive with my nails, so it lifted. I wanna say out of 10 nails, like seven or eight had lifted. And they were, and I just kept like gluing them down because I got them done and then I was out of town. And it was so painful. And when I took those nails off, like I soaked them off myself because I was just so aggravated with the lifting. Girl, my nails were split. All of my nails were like split in the middle. So of course, they were just so badly damaged. I was so upset. And I had never had a bad experience with her. I don't know what she did on this particular visit. Maybe she forgot the primer maybe she didn't edge i don't know i don't know but i never went back anyway child why this nail salon because i didn't realize they followed me on instagram why do you can you even hear me over this why do these people that set up and dm'd me talk about some hey babe um we haven't seen you in a while because it's been months is there anything, that, any feedback that you have, anything that we did wrong or, you know, something like that? Because I was a regular girl within the salon. First, I didn't even know they followed me on Instagram. Second, they DM'd me, it was like 12.40 a.m. Don't do that. Like, don't put us both in an awkward position because I'm gonna ignore this. I'm gonna just pretend like I didn't see it. And then you gonna feel away because I ignored it. And I know who it was. There's two women that own the salon. So I'm pretty sure I know which one it was that sent the message. And don't do that. Like, like leave it alone because I didn't want to leave a negative review. Maybe, I don't know. Of course, like, 
maybe I should have. My nails were fucked up and they're still fucked up. <laughs> and I'm just trying to get them back to good health myself. But I don't know. I just don't know why people do weird things like that. Like, don't be weird. Just don't be weird. Just, just let it go. You didn't offer me a coupon code. You didn't offer anything. And then my experiences within that salon were not always ideal. Don't mess with me. Let's just leave it be. I had a bad experience. I don't want to return. That's the end of the story. Don't be asking me. No now I do my nails myself. And I hate it. When I decided to do my own nails, I didn't know how good I would be at doing so. So I didn't want to invest too much. So I got the cheapest little drill. I got the cheapest little UV lamp. I got the cheapest little nails. And I switched nails over time. And, and everything works fine. But I, I do need a better drill, so. I am going to be shopping for one soon. This is the Melody Susie. And she's cute. She's cute. Don't get me wrong. She can be better. Steak 48. I think I, I got some footage. I did get some footage. Now, is it good footage? Because it's dark in there. Like, it's obviously, like, more of an intimate setting. I don't know. But I did get some footage of what I ate. And I think, yes, I went to the bathroom and tried to get footage of my dress. This is the Kalana Barfield Brown for Target dress. I have two of them green and then I have an orange one you should have seen my little haul try on that I did by now and if you haven't of course I will link it above now I have about seven minutes to get dressed to go to a little birthday shindig where I have to wear black bottoms and a white top which isn't hard except for my white tops all need to be steamed and I'm sitting here talking to y'all which is just like also, I halfway finished my nails. Right now, we're just nude. This is, ooh, I left it open. This is the Nail Reserve in Sea Swing and Sun. I wore this the last time. I really, really, really like it. It's a perfect nude. I only had time enough to get one coat on one, so I'm gonna do another coat. And I may just leave it as is. I was gonna do some designs with that green color that I showed y'all. And we will see. If I do, I will show y'all. I have a code for Nail Reserve that I will leave down there. I will also leave the link down below in the description box, which is no longer like down there. It's now like right there. And I don't really like that. But then again, I'm a tourist who does not like change. Anywho, let me hurry up and throw something on. And if I have time, I will try to show what I'm wearing, which will probably be nothing special because I can't be constricted by a dress code. But I also don't want to be that girl to show up in like bright green when there is a clear instruction given. So let's get to it. I'm going to keep it fairly simple for myself and wear this Eloquy dress that I believe is now on sale on their site. I think I just saw it when I was looking through the sale stuff. So I will definitely link it below if I can find it. I know they have it in a, sir, sir, sir. I know they have it in other colors, but it's a very easy, easy throw on dress, little thigh, very little thigh chap. Fuck. Um, and then I'm gonna put, I think I have to steam it, but I have the oversized white, Kalana Barfi, let's just say KBB child, can you say her name? Every time, it's 
sure that it needs a little steam. Fuck. So yeah, this one needs to be steamed out. Okay, but I also have this one. It's a little wrinkled, but it's linen. So I feel like, is that a cheat code? Like, does that count? Because linen is naturally more of a, a wrinkly fabric or will I look like a bump? I cannot be constrained by separates. Like, oh my God, who does that? Virgos, Virgos. try this one on but I realized uh, someone got makeup on it but I love this color set the body separately it's really cute it's giving Kate vibes pieces are an extra large so if you do go for it definitely size down unless you want like an oversized slouchy fit i like this lightly rimmed briefly show y'all a few things that I got. I was in the middle of tearing this Zara scarf open when I realized that I wanted to show my throats. So this is the silk scarf or one of the silk scarves that I mentioned before. I wanted the other one too but remember the whole dressing room closing thing and I just put everything back but this is gorgeous this is 90 centimeters by 90 centimeters i don't know metric all that well to guesstimate but it's about <laughs> it's like three feet by three feet it's my favorite size for a little head tie situation and it's also big enough to be worn this way as a top and if you haven't already go check out my how to wear a scarf as a top video i will link it above this one is 100 silk it feels fabulous and it was 45 american dollars i'm gonna look online and see if they got that other one because it's really beautiful from zara i also got this dress the one i barely tried on the one that i didn't even take my <laughs> unitard all four this is in a size large i like this it's not ribbed it's kind of it's kind of pleated but i don't have anything that's pleated with this texture because it's kind of distressed i don't know i just like it i like this sagey color this is a size large it was 35.90 and I already know how I want to wear it. I'm not going back to Zara for a while because Zara has officially entered their you can't fit this Britney, don't even come in because it's a woven season. There comes a time every year where Zara transitions seasons and they start doing less stretchy knitwear and more 
just solid woven pieces that obviously I can't play the let me squeeze into this game with. So that's when I keep my distance. I keep my distance. And maybe I won't go back in until like November. And then I probably won't go back in until like February. That's what I usually do with Zara during the colder months because it's just nothing there for me. I can still fit their sweaters, but I'm not really a sweater girl because I be hot. And in the winter, a sweater with a coat is not really my thing. And I already have too many sweaters that I'm simply not wearing. It's essential for me to, you know, take a little break from Zara. I understand the terms of our relationship and we just, when it's cuffing season, she don't cuff me. So then from Old Navy, I got the little black baby tee. And this was $8. And well, it's listed as 14, but it was on sale for eight. And I also got it in white. And then I also got the little silky button down so I can give R&B singer vibes in this. And I'm very happy about that. That's it. That's my small little haul. I'm very happy about these little purchases. Like, I really want to wear this dress with, I have um, these like off-white creamy colored knee-high boots from Eloquy with that sage blazer for like an October crisp weather look. Yeah, I just gotta get that blazer tailored. I have a whole bag of things that I don't even wanna get tailored. And the last time I took things to my tailor, a lot of it was kinda too big to get it tailored without a complete reconstruction. And I wasn't doing that because I didn't want to pay for that. So, but I, I do need to take that blazer in. Hmm. And, and like I saw, I got this candle. I think I mentioned this earlier. I got this candle from H&M and babe, look, very similar. I'm very into this color. Let me find out. Promo Steel said this was going to be the color of the Sun because I'm very into this, um, sagey, jady-esque color. Anyway, I'm rambling. Let me go shower, cook, enjoy the rest of my night, and I will see y'all when I see y'all. Okay, I'm getting ready to go out. I have my white strips here right now, so that's why I sound like this. Maybe I should take a out chat. <laughs> okay, I'm heading out and I'm wearing this little baby tee that I got from Old Navy within this blog. I will link it below. It was really cheap, like $8. These pants are from the, I wish they had pockets. I always do this, they don't have pockets. But they're from the Gabby Fresh Fashion to Figure Summer Collection. Um, did I steam them that well? No. Am I gonna go about my day? Yeah. This scarf is the new silk scarf that I just got from Zara. And I'm going to wear my little Brandon Blackwood bag. And, cause there's like, you know, the scarf. I'm wearing my Miu Miu glasses. I hardly ever wear these, but that's because I think I mentioned before that I wish the frame was a little bit more brown, neutral color. Oh, you're missing a back. That's not fun. I wanted to wear like these big snake hoop earrings that I got from ASOS, but they're kind of gorgeous. One was missing a back, child, so I had to steal a back from elsewhere. I feel like no matter how many pairs of earrings I have, I'm always short on backs. I'm always missing backs. Or does that weird thing happen to y'all where your earrings, 
the backs just suddenly stop fitting like does metal swell like you know how like wood can swell now why this back ain't going i have to peruse my jewelry box for another back but you know how wood swells um due to like certain weather conditions baby does that happen to cheap metal because what is going on with my earrings braids and hoops look so good but braids and hoops is a very annoying pairing i'm going to wear bringing in some more green with my favorite little jade bracelet wearing my malachite bracelet as well on the left wrist as usual and then I feel like I need some gold in the mix but I'm also not really in the mood to be an independent woman and put on my own bracelet right now but let's see if I could get it done in like two tries I know the trick with the tape I do have some tape right there but of course let me grab the tape. I tend to like to do things the hard way. And stuff like this, this is why I'm always running late, y'all. Because I make decisions like this. And for me, the decision to wear a bracelet that needs to be clasped closed is a lofty decision as I have nails. And these are short compared to see I can't even get the clasp open these are short compared to like some of my other nails but they're still long once I get the maybe oh and now I'm like committed to the green and gold so I gotta see it through Oh, my finger is in front of it. Come here, baby. Okay. We, we in there. Whoa, that was hard. So, uh, tape is the hack, but tape ain't all that helpful when you have nails. And sometimes I see girls just casually doing stuff, and they just, with their nails even longer than this, and I'm just like, I've been wearing long nails since I was like 15, y'all, and I still have not... I can work with them. I can do everything I need to do with them. I just can't fasten jewelry. So yes, we got the green and gold. Let's do a few rings. Really enjoying the gold. So let's do this little croissant ring. I'm feeling really fun, really zingy, really summery and fresh. So I'm gonna wear Mr. Marvelous by Byredo. Just gonna do two little arm sprays and then shoulder, shoulder, neck, so I can create the perfect circle around myself and smell it myself. I don't know where I'm going. It's just, you know, it's the last few days of summer. It's like 83 degrees outside today and I'm making myself go outside. I think that it'll be a good time. I do know one place that I'm going, but I probably... Mm. It's something about these shades I just don't like. It's giving super fly, but not in a good way. So I think I need something a little bit less visually heavy because I do have the big earrings, I do have the scarf. So I'm gonna go for my ain't never failed me once Gucci shades. They hit every time, every single time. And I love, love, love wearing them with a scarf like this because they always give me like a 70s vibe. So we're ready.
I'm here preparing to shoot some content around a package, around this package, this package I just received, and I realized, as usual, I didn't shoot an outro. So what do you say in a vlog outro? Is it anything different from what you say in the other outro? I don't know. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I haven't started editing it yet, but I'm pretty sure this one is a lengthy one. I'm very sad to be shooting fall content because that's exactly what I'm about to do now, but you cannot help the weather. Anywho, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. You know, let me know down below if y'all like the juicy vlogs or if it should be more condensed, compact, short, you know? I will link everything that I can find that I've been wearing down below. And any other things that I've mentioned, I will link it. And yeah, make sure you guys follow me on Instagram at Born and Sequins. Follow me on TikTok at Brittany Inc. Like this video. If you like this video and you like this type of content, Subscribe if you're not subscribed. Like, babe, you made it to the end of the video. Subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.